here I am with a NASA spaceman. We're going to go on a tour of the meteor crater here over in Arizona, right? Let's go. We're going to check this out. This is going to be so cool. A huge meteor. Yeah, here we go. Here I am with Amy. She works here at the Meteor Crater and she's going to give us some information about this meteorite. Hi. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing awesome. How are you? I'm great. So what do we have here? This here is part of the big piece of meteorite that hit here and created Meteor Crater. So this piece here is the actual real thing. This piece here is 1,406 pounds. Wow. It's very, very dense. It's actually 1,406 pounds. And it's actually made of 92% iron, 7% wow. nickel, half a percent cobalt, and the other half percent is actually 80 other different elements in a periodic table. Wow. Yeah, this is the largest piece we have been able to recover from the huge piece of meteorite that hit here. The entire piece itself was 150 feet in diameter and weighing about 300,000 tons, which equals to about 300,000 uh, or three fully loaded Navy aircraft carriers. Wow. Yeah, so this rock here, they have done what's called lead isotope testing, oh. and it's 4.55 billion years old. Wow. Our solar system itself is 4.57 billion years old, so this is actually just under the age of our solar system. Wow. So if anyone wants to touch it, they can touch it and probably be the oldest thing in the solar system that they actually do touch. Wow, that's so cool. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. you learned something new. Yeah. Wow. So what do we have here? So that meteorite we were just looking at, this is the exact same thing that was just what we were just touching. So huh. this rock here was found in 1908, about a mile and a half west of Meteor Crater. They thought it was a little tiny rock and they'd be able to put it in their saddlebag and just come right back up here. Huh. But when they start digging it out is when they noticed they had the whole rest of that meteorite. So it took about these five or six guys to load all that meteorite into the horse-drawn wagon wow. to even be able to carry it over here to Meteor Crater. Wow, that's so cool. Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow. Extra, extra.
The sky is falling. No. <laughs> telescope here shows about how we actually find all the near-earth objects also called NEOs to find all the asteroids that could potentially even come to earth so with this telescope here like I said you can look through it and actually see and get a visual about how other scientists actually look into the uh, telescope as well go ahead and have a look Wow look at that So this one here shows us about how large our crater is compared to other craters on the moon. So seeing these circles up here being the craters, this red circle represents our crater and seeing it compared to other craters on the moon, you can see how small our crater is compared to the huge ones that you could find. Like I said, looking through that telescope, you can see some of those craters on the moon as well. Wow, that's really tiny. And those are huge. Wow. So here we are at the crater, and I'm with Amy, and she's going to tell us about the actual crater. Let's check it out. So this here is Meteor Crater. Its scientific name is Beringer Meteorite Crater. Wow. It's two and a half miles in circumference, 4,100 feet across, and 550 feet in depth. Wow. The crater rim, which we're standing on, rises about 148 feet above the surrounding plains area. So seeing our hole here, the meteorite that impacted, 150 feet in diameter, and you can see this entire impact that it created because of when it hit, it hit with an equivalent in energy force of 20 million tons of TNT. Wow! That's about 150 Hiroshima's, or line up a freight train from LA to New York, fill up every single box car with sticks of dynamite, <laughs> and you would have that same equivalent energy force of that 20 million tons of TNT. That's a big bang. That sure was. Wow. It's a really big hole. <laughs> wow. Our hole create uh, against other craters. So our crater is actually very small compared to other craters. Oh. The crater that created with the dinosaurs, that whole extinction happened. So that crater right now is 93 miles in diameter, Whoa. 12 miles in depth. Whoa. The largest crater on Earth is actually 190 miles in diameter, and that one is actually in South Africa, just north of Johannesburg. So seeing our crater here, times it by 93, or even times it by 190, and you can see how small our crater is compared to all those other craters. All right. Well, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Wow. Check out this cool, huge space capsule from the Apollo test. Don't forget to visit the gift shop. And that's what they call that 
Thank you so much for joining me here at the Meteor Crater. Wow, be sure you check this out. It's in Arizona and it was so much fun, but don't forget also to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Wow, thank you so much again and bye-bye.